Hello fellow Sudokans and welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku Puzzle. It's Friday the 29th of November 2024. I hope you are keeping well. It's still kind of dark here. Normally the sun is out when I play these games early in the morning. It's very early here. Uh, I can't see any sun through the curtains. The curtains are closed but I'm assuming that it means it's overcast. Um, I'll go out and get breakfast and have a look in a minute. As soon as I finish playing this Guardian Sudoku puzzle, and Friday is the second of its hard level puzzles. If you're not sure about the pattern for the Guardian Sudoku, it's Monday easy, Tuesday, Wednesday medium, Thursday, Friday hard, and Saturday expert. But take those ratings with a pinch of salt, I think. Um, what's going on in the world? Uh... <laughs> Um, Nigel Farage now those of you who are outside the UK may not know this name and if you don't you're lucky uh, Nigel Farage um, right wing person mainly responsible for Brexit uh, his one thing in life has been to be anti-immigrant and uh, be a, a complete dickhead really <laughs> um, but anyway he um, he is one of the people really responsible for Brexit and uh, he recently became an MP after trying many times they finally found somewhere that would accept him God knows how but they did it was this one location in the UK where they managed to uh, vote for uh, reform and um, uh, before and so they got him in as a kind of safe seat or like a most probable candidate after he tried to sit in tried to uh, uh, be uh, um, tried to be elected to parliament f on various occasions anyway he's now done it uh, and he is famously uh, a Trump supporter and wannabe friend of Trump though Trump <laughs> has acknowledged him a couple of times I don't think he really knows who he is uh, but apparently he's got a new friend that friend is Elon Musk and uh, he said that he's going to be counting on his support as he now tries to bring another American crap idea which is to start talking about rolling back abortion limits uh, meaning that the level the, lev the uh, weak limit the term limit of when abortion can be carried out but we know this is a nonsense um, just a kind of introductory way into before they start to uh, ban or try to ban abortions you know this people have a certain mindset which is I, I can't understand it but uh, there's something about these people, uh, they're sick, I think. They just um, have this idea about control, uh, controlling women's bodies. Uh, anyway, um, he now wants to uh, kind of bring this up um, and introduce it as a vote uh, in the UK. Um, please don't let this monster get his way anymore. He already had enough of our time. Uh, he hasn't acknowledged the failure of Brexit, uh, which is patent to anybody, to everybody, should be. Um, there we are, Nigel Farage. Please go to America. I mean, he's a he wants to be a, one of these grifters, you know, like the, he's, he is a grifter, but he actually was rich before this because he was a banker, and he was all, he's always been rich, but you know, like he tries to pretend that he's like man of the people, which is absolute nonsense. Uh, anyway, um, he wants to be one of these, you know, extremely wealthy grifters that they have in the U.S. So why don't you just go to America? You don't really care about anything in Britain anyway. Why don't you just go off to America and live there? <laughs> I'm sure they'll uh, think as much of you there as they do any of the other grifters. So uh, anyway, let's get on with the game of Sudoku, shall we? Um, like I said, hard level puzzle. Start with fours and put four into this square here and we'll go back in this direction with fours and give us four here We've got a pair of three and nine blocking across here, so we can get ourselves three and nine in these squares. Uh, so that means nine, huh? 
is that right? Yes, three and nine blocking across here. So we've got nine blocking up here and nine blocking down there. And that's going to give us nine in that square there. The threes, we don't know too much about. Threes will be up there somewhere. Um, but as for the nines, we get nine across here and up here. So nine in one of these two squares blocking down, nine this way, nine that way. Uh, and so then I will, hang on, we've got nine across here, so nine in one of these two squares blocking back in this direction, nine across here, get ourselves a nine there as well. And then I'm going to come back and look at these. So I know I know I had 9 and 3 in those squares, so then let's work out what goes here. So we're looking not for 9 or 3, we're looking for 2, 4, 6. And we've got 4 blocking here and here, so that's going to be the 4. And we end up with a pair of 2 and 6 in those squares there. So that puts 2s up there. About the sixes, what do we know? Hmm, like that. Oh, here we are. Six down here. And there's a six. Six down here. Four across this way and this way, and four from up on high will give us four in this square. Four up down and across and across. I think this could well be the last digit four. Indeed it was. Don't have to worry about fours anymore. Only eight digits to go. Three blocking across here and up here puts three into one of these two squares blocking up. So we will eventually get a 3 in that square there. So this is a pair of 3 and 6, isn't it? Don't I say 6s were in these squares, right, blocking up, and 6 across here, so we get 6s there and there so three and six blocking across here that has to be three and six in those squares and this has to be one and two so the two blocking up there will give us two there and a one there one this way one that way will give us one in that square Okay, let's uh, look across here, shall we? And uh, in these sec this section here as well. So this was three and six. So over here we don't have three or six. We must have two and eight. We've got the two blocking up here. So there's the two and there's the eight. And we've got eight across here and up here and up there. have three blocking this square and this square in this column so that's the position of three 
we've got two blocking this square in this column so that has to be the two down there and back up to the top to provide a uh, six which is the last digit needed there uh, we can get the two numbers or we can get this anyway we'll find out what's missing from here this is going to be two and five can't say which is which this is not two or five it's got to be seven Six blocks this square, six blocks this square. So in this column, here is our six. And that means two five will be here and here. Two five is here. Also means that this can't be two or five. And there is a vague possibility of it being a unique rectangle. Uh, so two and five, two five. So this can't be two or five. It's not one, two, three, four, five, six could be seven it's not eight or nine it's seven so we can use a unique rectangle there to help us find that particular digit Uh, four is our completed number. Everything else still on the table. Uh, this is... Three and nine, right? Why did I make a mistake there before? Uh, okay. No, I think it's okay. I don't. I, sometimes I make a mistake in speaking, but um, hopefully I've made a mistake in actually playing. Two's block across here like this. That's a two. Two down here, two up there, there's two. Two this way, two that way. Two is finished. No, two is not finished. Two up there. That was that's finished now. And the missing digit here was a five, wasn't it? So we're left with five and six in those squares now. Let's have a look over here. What are we looking for? One, uh, five, eight. We've got five and eight together, so that will be our one then. One across here, one across here, and one down there gives us one in that square. Uh, if this is five and eight, this is not. So it's got to be seven and nine. So seven blocking up here, seven across there. There's our seven. And our nine blocking to the top will give us nine in that square. And this will be a five. Five blocking down puts five into this square here. Missing digits here, one, three, eight. We got three and eight together. Here's our one. One across here, one across here, and one up there. Finishes off the ones. Thank you for your service. Uh, we haven't finished nines yet, but we've got nine down here, nine across here. There's a nine. Nine over this way gives us nine there. That is now finished. This is a three. Uh, this I can get, uh, but I've forgotten what I said goes there now. Uh, let's see, what are we looking for? Five, seven, eight. Is that right? Seven blocking down here, there's a seven. Uh, 
seven blocking here. We need a seven in this row. It goes there. To finish this row, a six is going to do it. Six blocking back up here. Put six into this square. Six down, six up. There's a six. Six across here. Put six into that square. This is a five. Um, five blocking this square and this square. So in this column, here's our five. Last number to place is a three. Last number to get in this column is eight, I think. And eight blocking across here gives us eight there. And this will be a three. Three needed for the end of this row. The end of this row or this block, whichever you prefer, will still be a seven. And uh, not much more to go now. One more number needed down here. Uh, five, I think. And five across here will give us five in this square. This has to be eight. Eight blocking back this way for an eight here. And three finishes the game. So once again, not really difficult at all, I would suggest. Uh, thank you for joining me. I'll see you around um, whenever I get the chance to play. Take care. Bye-bye.